hi guys welcome back to my channel if you want to learn how to calculate the caustic soda you need in your soap production as a beginner that's what i actually mean is how to do your light calculation using a saponification chart please stay tuned and continue to watch this video please help me to subscribe to my channel i'm still growing like my video and share my video Thank you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you. Yes, welcome back to my channel on Bi Bamji Foods DIY. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate your the, the quantity of the caustic soda you need for your soap production. In other words, how to calculate your uh, lye solution uh, using a saponification chart. So I'll be using three oils for example. These are the oils you can commonly see in your area. Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my growing channel i just have 23 subscribers ah good and um, please share my videos thank you so we'll be using the most common oils that you can see in the market which are normally used for laundry laundry soap production which are palm kernel oil palm oil and granite oil these three oils are commonly seen in our local chemical shops and this is the most widely used when we are talking about laundry soap production i will also do another video using some oils like coconut oil olive oil almond oil and butters for people who are into baking soap production so as we normally know the you first of all you'll be needing a, a saponification table these tables if you are in my group i will share it with you but if you are not you can actually google it there are lots of tables online that you can use lots of them just type in saponification table chart and you will see it is there on the google on the internet but meanwhile for those who have subscribed to my channel and those who message me on whatsapp to join my group for where i teach how to make laundry soap thank you guys and keep coming thank you and please please the for you to join the whatsapp group and have an in-depth knowledge of everything we are teaching is actually for a token 2000 naira but meanwhile let's continue let's dive straight into it so i'll be needing this oil for a soap production palm kernel oil palm oil and granite oil and how will I calculate and know the quantity of caustic soda that I will, that I will need? I'll, I need um, a total of um, 3,000 grams of all this oil. Normally, if you buy one liter of palm kernel oil in the market and they really fill the, the bottle very well, sometimes when you weigh it, you may get something like 960 to almost 1,000 grams. It's almost 1,000 grams for one liter depending on the weight of the oil, you understand? But if it's not up to, you can actually make it up to 1,000 grams. So we've been using an illustration where we'll be using these three oils and we need a total weight of uh, 3,000 grams of these oils. So for the 3,000 gram weight of this oil, I'll be needing, I want the palm kernel oil to be bigger. So the palm kernel oil will be 1,000 500 grams by weight then the palm oil this is just an illustration you can decide to do your own in reverse method 600 grams this is by weight 1005 of 3000 is actually 50 percent of this total oil and this is 30 percent why this is 20 percent this will still give us a total of 100 percent of our oil and this is a total of 3,000 grams. So probably you'll be coming back from the market with, with like three bottles. Depending on how you buy it, if they de decide to share it like this with you. But I know here in Nigeria, they sell by liters. So you now go to your SAP table 
and check for the values under the sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is the same thing with caustic soda. Please, this is the, uh, the chemical name, sodium hydroxide. You check the value for the sodium hydroxide saponification coefficient value for these particular three oils. So lifting it from the tables, you have here, for what you see for palm kernel oil is 0 0.177. And what you will see for palm oil is 0 0.1420. And what you will see for granite oil, that's peanut oil, is 0 0.1367. Sorry, I'm calling it granite oil, but it's actually peanut oil. So what next do you need to do? Oil is very simple. It's just for you to multiply the weight of the oil you are using with the saponification coefficient. And that will give you the caustic soda weight you need to saponify this particular quantity of oil in this whole mixture. So let's, let's move right into it. So 1,500 grams. You don't really need the units when you are doing your mathematics times 0 0.1777. This will give you a sum total of 266.55. You can you can um, convert to the nearest uh, distance. So this will be we are using one decimal point. For the next one, you will do nine hundred grams times zero point one four two zero. This will give you one two seven point eight. For the next one, we would multiply the 600 grams of oil you will want to use by the saponification coefficient, which is 0 0.1367. This will give you 82.0 grams. So later you, you sum everything together. When you sum it together, so summing everything together will give you 476.4 grams. Therefore, this is the quantity quantity of caustic soda you will need to be able to saponify a total weight of 3000 grams of this oil. I hope you actually understand. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section for me. For the next video, which is the part two of this video, I will show you how to calculate the water you will need to dilute this particular weight of caustic soda in order to prepare your light solution. Thank you. Please check the next video for continuation. Thank you.